You know, there's nothing like biting into an ice cold watermelon on a hot day. And someday we'll get to know that again. In fact, uh, any kind of fruit can be a real taste treat. Recently, Ed Jones met an artist over in Jackson who turns fruit into a treat for the eyes. Fruit is so beautiful by itself, but especially if you can take advantage of the layers. And the story goes that Michelangelo, they ask him, how'd you do that angel in that piece of marble? Of course, they didn't say it with a southern accent. You know. So it's Michelangelo's, oh no, the angel is already inside. All I did was liberate it. Carl Jones has been liberating beautiful works of art hidden in fruit for more than a decade. But when he started this journey, Carl was the one in need of liberation from a lifestyle that was slowly killing him. I uh, was in the restaurant business for 30 years. Back about 12 years ago, I was having trouble with my blood pressure and with my heart, actually. And it uh, went to a cardiologist. He said, uh, you're pretty stressed out. I said, yeah, tell me about it. He said, well, you need to slow down. I'm like, you know, how do I slow down? He said, well, get a hobby. I went back to my office that night, and, and in a packet was a knife, a little carving knife that I had bought maybe two years earlier at a, a catering conference I was at and saw someone carving. So I thought that, well, that's kind of like an answer. So I went and got a little small melon and brought it to my desk, pulled out the knife out of the packet, and started trying to carve a flower into it. Well, it fell in. So I learned my first technique, and that's to put my finger right here to gauge the depth. So my first mistake led to my first technique. There would be many more mistakes, but as Carl's skill began to improve, so did his health. My blood pressure is greatly improved and the stress is virtually gone. That's the mindfulness of this art and mindfulness is what leads to stress reduction and relaxation. You do beautiful work. Thank you. That is Thank you. just gorgeous. Thank you. I think part of it is, is while you're carving, you, you have all these people walking up to you telling you how great you are. <laughs> well, these are lovely and your reputation preceded you and I can Thank see you. why. You know, I can do birds, I can do pretty much anything. And I do freehand, so it just means that I just start carving and see what comes out. I do a lot of flowers, that's how you get good at doing flowers, It's doing a lot of them. And that's the most requested is uh, for roses or somebody will look at a picture and say, oh, make me that. Why did you choose watermelon, Freddie? <laughs> can't, can't do that with plywood. That's a good enough reason. I ain't no termite. How long have you been carving? Fruit, or do you carve other things? Carve fruit, this is a squash, which is, what, is that a vegetable or a fruit? I'm not sure. Huh. Yeah, I think it's a fruit because it has seeds inside. Because it has seeds inside, yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. But then strawberry, is that a fruit? Because it has know. seeds on the outside. I feel like we're really going off track here. But they have seeds on the outside. <laughs> do you carve strawberries? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Head yeah. out, and chin can down. And you your feet like this because yes. it distributes. One of the first oh, things you notice right? about yeah. Carl is, well, he's pretty charismatic. Right. There you go, Carl. That's it. Well, maybe Especially for a guy who spends most of his time with produce. He'd be the first to tell you that that's just one of the many fruits of his labor of love. There's also something about this that has led me to be a kinder person. Not that I was mean or anything in the past, but I tended to be a lot more impatient with people. This gives patience. If you do this you become patient. I found also over the years having a lot of time to think I became a lot more philosophical because the idea is while I'm carving I'm thinking about my healing. I have in my head that I'm relaxed, my blood pressure is down, I'm healthy, I'm happy. You don't know all the benefits that you're getting when you're doing multi-dimensional art. There are a lot of benefits that, that come out of it. This modern day Maharishi of melons has woven the benefits of fruit carving into every aspect of his life. 
you get a lot of these scraps and some of them I eat, but I uh, can't eat them all. But that little worm farm, the worms eat the scraps. The scraps turn into compost. Take the compost, put those around my herbs and my vegetables. Then I consume the vegetables and the herbs, the whole circle of life, the sustainability, the cycle that everybody's looking for. If I'd heard somebody say this a few years ago, I'd say, that guy's weird, what's he smoking? You know, but after a while you find that, oh, there's truth to that. Through Carl's search for that truth, he has discovered a new lease on life and a skill for finding hidden treasure, whether it's artwork in a piece of fruit or peace within himself.